With lights out at Bahrain just two days away now, things have already started to heat up down at Red Bull as Sergio Perez has issued a massive warning to teammate Max Verstappen. And on top of that, Lewis Hamilton has revealed more information on closing up the gap to Red Bull. This is one you don't want to miss guys, so let's dive straight into the video. 2023 marks the year where Sergio Perez needs to prove more than ever that he is still the man for the job down at Red Bull. And before the lights have even gone out in Bahrain, Perez has warned Verstappen that he will be in need of some much needed mutual support this year. Something the Mexican driver did not receive in Brazil last year when Verstappen refused team orders to let Perez back through. This all led to uproar from Formula 1 fans and Perez himself who at the time said he's just shown who he really is, referring to Verstappen. Speaking ahead of the first race of the 2023 season in Bahrain, Perez has emphasised that a situation like the one that occurred in Brazil should never happen again and should a similar scenario unfold this year, he will expect some support. It's always important to work as a team, but obviously if I see that I don't get the support when I need it, I won't give it either. I think we're very clear that's what's the most important. It's going to be a very intense season with probably six cars fighting for the championship, so it will be important to work as a team in many of the races. Perez also went on to explain how this season will be crucial in determining if he will continue to have a seat at Red Bull with this being the 13th season of the 33-year-old's career. Without a doubt, this year will determine many things, how good I am, how much I want to continue in the sport. Without a doubt, this will be a crucial year in my career. If you don't have 100% desire to get up, to train every day, to take care of what you eat all year, what you have to give to the sport, if you don't have the energy 100% anymore, I don't see myself here until I'm 90. Now I don't know about you, but I don't see Checo staying behind the wheel till he's 90 either, be it on a track or on the roads. However, I do believe he will give Verstappen a good run for his money this year. After all, Red Bull and the drivers have confirmed that the development of the RB19 does seem to accommodate both drivers' style of driving. But let's move on to the news regarding Hamilton. There can be no doubts with what we have all seen from pre-season testing that Mercedes and the W14 have a fair bit of work to do if they want to be taking the fight to Red Bull at the front of the grid and getting back to their winning ways, with Hamilton already admitting that Mercedes are not where they want to be starting this season. The widespread opinion from the paddock is that before lights out on Sunday is that Red Bull and Verstappen are a class above the rest of the field, followed by Ferrari and then Mercedes, along with the scarily much improved Aston Martin AMR23 not far behind, or on a similar level to the W14. Both Hamilton and Russell are under no illusions that the team do have a ways to go. However, the pair are confident that Mercedes can replicate the strong development that they carried through the 2022 season, which eventually saw them conjure up a 1-2 finish in Brazil. Since pre-season testing, both drivers have stated that the team has made good progress and that the team do have a new rear wing for the W14, which they hope will reduce the gap to Red Bull and give them some much needed straight line speed and better handling through the corners. And on top of that, Mercedes are confident that they have managed to rid themselves of the biggest problem they had with the W13 last year, porpoising. On a positive note, not bouncing is a huge plus. Trying to understand what the problems were while bouncing made it difficult to work out what those are. We don't have that now and we can focus on pure performance. This still is a multi-championship winning team and a group of people. Hopefully those behind will continue to apply pressure to Red Bull. Ferrari have a decent package, Aston Martin have a decent package and we are hunting too. I think Max will be very, very confident. I don't think he'll slip up. He's a world champion and I wouldn't question his determination or his focus. It's our job to catch up. So Mercedes clearly have some work to do if they want to be competing with Red Bull. But at least they can focus on performance as they are now not being hindered by porpoising and bouncing. But more importantly, what are your predictions for Sunday's race? Let me know in the comments below. But that's the video from me today guys, remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed today's content. And until the next time, bye bye.